Hello there and welcome to the latest episode of TSA TV News Desk from the people at the sixthaxis.com, bringing you all the biggest gaming news from the week ending October 20th, 2013. It's been a bit of a rough week for delays. The biggest has got to be Ubisoft's Watch Dogs, which has shifted from its planned November release to sometime after April 2014. Also delayed is Sony and Evolution Studios Drive Club, planned to be a PS4 launch title and now due early next year, with shadowy indie platformer Contrast replacing the Drive Club PlayStation Plus edition expected on the service on launch day. Ubisoft has also put back open world racer The Crew, originally due early next year and now not expected until at least late summer. Slight slips have also affected Ratchet & Clank Nexus, moved back a week to November 22nd in the UK, while the Wii U and PC disc versions of Batman Arkham Origins, as well as the 3DS version of spin-off Blackgate, will arrive on November 8th, two weeks after the PS3, Xbox 360, Steam and Vita releases on October 25th. Even accessories seem to be taking a hit. The Xbox One headset adapter required to use third-party and legacy headsets with the new console will now not be available until early next year, taking with it the Turtle Beach headsets designed specifically for the console due to the inclusion of the adapter in that box. In slightly better news, the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag will actually arrive earlier than planned in Europe, dropping on 29th of October here in the UK. In new announcements, a tie-in game developed by series veterans Beanox will arrive on current-gen, next-gen PC and 3DS alongside the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie next May. And following on from the recent 1.5 HD release, Square Enix have announced Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix for a release on PS3 next year. The bundle includes the previously Japan-exclusive Final Mix version of Kingdom Hearts 2, as well as an HD version of PSP title Birth by Sleep, and remastered cutscenes from the DS's Recoded. Double Fine has announced base management sim Space Base DF9, headed up by the Cave co-designer JP Le Breton, and available in an early form now on Steam Early Access. Meanwhile, quirky indie collection Sports Friends is coming to PS4, while Sound Shapes, Escape Plan, Flow and Flower are all also coming to PS4, ready for the console's European release. With both Flow and Flower also coming to Vita, and all four will support cross-buy with the existing versions. Oh, and Future Labs Velocity Ultra, itself an upgraded Vita version of Mini's title Velocity, will be coming to PS3 early next year. In the news this week, significant layoffs have been reported at Bioshock 2 and the Bureau XCOM Declassified developers 2K Marin, with the only staff remaining those intending to move to the recently announced Bay Area 2K studio headed up by Gears of War and Bioshock Infinite producer Rod Ferguson. Alongside the listing of the first PS4 titles for pre-order in the US PlayStation Store, Sony has clarified the new digital rights management used for the downloads on the system. Each PSN account will have a defined primary console, and any user on this console can access purchased content, while only the original PSN account can use the content on a second console. Microsoft has confirmed that, rather than stopping at the launch of the Xbox One next month, the Games with Gold campaign that grants subscribers two free titles per month to keep will continue indefinitely on Xbox 360. While Vufu Studios have announced that the upcoming release of Pure Chess on 3DS and Wii U will be the first title to support cross-play between those platforms, as well as with PC and mobile versions of the game. With the intention to also patch the PS3 and Vita versions of the game with the same cross-platform functionality, if Sony approves. Elsewhere, Nintendo has announced two new limited edition 3DS XLs, this time themed after the upcoming Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds and the ongoing Year of Luigi celebrations, while Diablo 3 expansion Reaper of Souls is confirmed for the PS4 version of the game, although there's no word on whether it will come on disc when that version launches next year or remain a separate expansion, or even be available for the already released PS3 and Xbox 360 versions of the game. Sony has announced two premium editions for February's infamous Second Son, with the special edition including the game, a beanie hat and a DLC story that bridges the gap between the new game and the previous entries in the series. While the collector's edition adds a bunch of physical goodies, including an actual jacket for your game box. Seriously. In other news, Battlefield 4 will ship on two discs on Xbox 360 with a 2GB compulsory install and up to 12GB of optional but recommended installs. The real name functionality intended for Xbox Live on Xbox One will miss launch and instead arrive in a future update, while the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes game director Arthur Parsons has teased some special content unique to the PlayStation versions of that game, and a Thor The Dark World themed pack of 8 characters has been announced for purchase when the game releases next month. 
The upcoming Thief reboot will drop the announced XP-based upgrade system due to online feedback. Physics-based Fort Destroyer Castlestorm will be coming to PS3 and Vita this November. And Creepy Slender The Arrival will finally arrive on Steam in time for Halloween. Oh, and a potential Royal Mail strike could take place across the 4th and 5th of November in the UK, just in time to disrupt pre-orders of Call of Duty Ghosts. Chart time and Grand Theft Auto V is up 1 to return to the top of the pops. Last week's number 1 FIFA 14 is down 1 to 2, while Pokemon X and Y chart at 3rd and 4 respectively in their first week, with Nintendo announcing that the game sold 4 million copies worldwide in just their first two days. Beyond Two Souls is also new at number 5, while Dragon's Crown arrives at number 19. Amazon UK has also released a top 10 of their all-time best-selling games, and there aren't really any surprises. Call of Duty dominates the top end of the chart, with Modern Warfare 2 at number 1, while GTA 5 manages a respectable 4th. Elsewhere, there's three FIFA titles, The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, and Zumba Fitness even makes a surprise appearance at number 10. Our last few bits for this week, the first 250,000 of the GTA 5 stimulus package is due to arrive this coming week, as is downloadable puzzle platformer Ethan Meteor Hunter on PSN. Speaking of PSN, two sales are now live, highlighting the Halloween-themed content and cross-buy enabled titles, while another 1.2GB multiplayer patch is live for Killzone Mercenary. Although it does overwrite the previous gigabyte update, and Guerrilla have confirmed that they are currently looking into reducing the overall size of the game. The first Last of Us map pack is out now for $7.99, and if you have money to burn, the Vita version of the Angry Birds trilogy is on the store for a whopping £32. For more on everything in this week's show, and previews of Super Exploding Zoo and Need for Speed Rivals, as well as a review of Sonic Lost World, head over to the sixthaxis.com and give us a follow on Twitter or a like on Facebook to get the latest news delivered right to you. That's it for this week's show, but we'll be back next week with more News Desk. Until then, thanks for watching.